Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I digitize home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, give me a shout. Check out the website. It's EmeraldCoastDigitizing.com. Oh, this video is going to be boring, guys. So this is a problem I haven't really had to deal with much. It's kind of a pain, really. So this customer's camera here, the photos are easy to get to. You got a bunch of photos here. About 15 photos but then there's video stuff in here too but they're MOD files so you can't really open them and it's kind of hard to distinguish which ones are videos but VLC will play them VLC media player will play the tapes play the videos but I can't I was really hoping I could just drop them on um, my Final Cut Pro timeline and make quick work of this because I can just drop all the videos on the timeline then I can export an mp4 and we're we're done but I can't just deliver these to her like this I have to go through and find each video which won't be too hard I just have to search MOD files which let's do that real quick we'll do dot MOD and this Mac so we got all of our MOD files and it looks like it's from the camera we can go to PGRG and go to this Mac and you can see where I tried to put um, the MOD file on the timeline. So we'll grab one of her videos. We'll move it to the timeline. And it's moving slow. I don't know what's going on. Just a weird file. Anyways, it'll play the audio, but it won't play the video. I forgot to run to the camera store this morning to pick up someone's stuff. I gotta go do that now. I gotta come back to this. All right, you guys want to go with me to go pick up some slides? Let's go for a ride. This could be fun. We've never done this before, have we, guys? So when I leave the store during the day, which I do pretty often, I leave my open sign on. I lock up. On my door it says, "If lock, call me." My car is gross. It's dirty, guys. It's dirty. Dirty in here. I got an old MacBook. Look at this. Old school MacBook in the box. Go for a little trip. I'm going to show you uh, where I take my VCRs and stuff to get repaired if I need to. Guys, owning this business has been a lot of fun. I really enjoy everything about it. The customer that just came in was talking to me about how cool it is to see all the stuff and all the nostalgia that coming into my store brings and it makes me so happy to to have found something that I really enjoy that I can make a living doing or hopefully make a living doing so far so good we'll see I still have to do my taxes not normal for me to have to go do this um, I had a customer bring in some slides and they were like the little 16th 16 millimeter style slides and I just don't have the stuff to do them. Here's the guy who does all my repairs. John McDowell Electronics Home Steer, Home Car Stereo Repair. He works on VCRs and cameras and stuff too. He's an old timer, but he takes some time to get stuff done, but he does it. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be doing it though. He wants to retire. They, I had these little slides and you know, I attempted to scan them and using my little 35 millimeter slot scanner and it just didn't come out large enough. I just didn't like the way it came out. So just to test out the services over here, um, this camera store down the road, I went ahead and brought them to them and they ended up copying them too small. They actually copied them smaller than I did. So I had to take them back. And now this is me just going to go pick them up real quick. And that customer is supposed to come in today, I think at like 11 or so. So we got to hurry back. This uh, camera shop has also been utilizing my services for uh, tape, camcorder tape digitizing. So anytime they have customer come in with tapes. And I mean, they, they do it. They claim to do it in-house too, but they don't do it in-house anymore. So they... Uh, 
have been sending their stuff to me. I don't know how much longer they're gonna do that, but you can see on their sign it's uh I'm back at the store. I accidentally did a time lapse on the way back, but it's okay. I'm gonna do a quick thumbnail. That was pretty good. Been successful, guys. This job probably gonna take me the rest of today to do. Um, <clears throat> this one needs a repair done hoping it doesn't have sticky shit I don't see any reason why I think probably the camera just ripped on it but you can see it needs to be spliced I'm gonna wait and do that tomorrow I don't feel like really messing with that today um got some other stuff to do let's see how this stuff's working turn the tv on we got uh, a digital eight tester tape here this is of course the flip over version you gotta flip over to the other side. Just testing out tapes, guys. Testing out tapes. Probably don't need that light on back there. Yeah, it's nice and warm in here. It is like 20 something degrees outside today. All right, let's see if this thing works. Honestly, this on these style TVs, this digital aid stuff, man. I need to figure out a way to adjust the shutter for GoPro. Let's see. Power this thing on. Play edit rewind. It's rewinding. Let's see if I can adjust the shutter on this thing. All right, so we were on auto shutter. Now we're at a, a flat 60 one over 60 shutter and we're shooting at 30 frames per second so should be a pretty clean image now let's see if this tape works play oh we're in camera mode oh no that was from my stupid tester recording so i tested recorded on this thing yesterday so let's see if it works it definitely started off with some feedback Takes time to test these cameras out, but you know. All right, this is a a digital eight camera test. It's a cool little camera, really. Working good. Very clean digital eight signal. Very clean. Very clean. It just, I mean, you can't beat it. The the way digital eight and the shout. Call me CRTs. Or call by the shop on Look, it's just great. I mean, the, it's just the image looks so clear and pretty. Let's see how pause works. Look at that pause frame. Oh, looks so good. It's a good camera. And then, of course, an old wedding that I found in the tape. In a tape a long time ago. <laughs> but it works. All right, so that camera is confirmed working and will be uh, trading towards one of my customer's orders. And I'm probably only going to give them like 60 bucks for this one though. But yeah, it works. It's good. All right, now we're going to try the um, the mini DV tape camera that just came through. Well, we'll just uh, take this out. This should just be a digital eight, but I don't know. Go ahead and add this to the repertoire down here. Look at all my digital eight and high eight cameras I got going down here. And then of course I've got the eight going up top too. Tons of digital eight stuff and high eight video eight. All right, this one's kind of cool. It has a little dock that it can go into. You can always plug in the charger to the back of the camera, but there is a dock for it. So we're gonna see if that works and the dog just kind of screw, goes into there so we'll hook it up 
I've actually never used one of these dock cameras before, but this is a Sony. Let's plug it in and see if we can get power. We're gonna make a fresh mini DV tester. Nothing like a fresh tape right out of the box. Oh, smells so good. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. All right, let's see. Uh, so you can hook it up to the dock, but can you eject it while it's on the dock? No, so you have to unplug it. Well, that's kind of a stupid design. And how do you eject this thing? There's a card in it. Probably need to check and see what's on that. Give it to the customer. Here we go. Open and eject. Yep, definitely upside down. No tape in there. No tape in. Look up to the back of the TV. GoPro is still holding in strong. All right, let's see. Covers open. Well, we got a video feed. That's good. Guess we won't use the dock. We can. Uh, we'll use the try the dock out. I don't know if I want to mess with that dock. Just plug straight into it. This doesn't seem to fit it. There it goes. All right, well the AV cables are working. So now I wanna be able to go into the menu. Where is the menu buttons? It's all here. It's all touch screen. I hate that. How do I go into the memory stick? Camera memory. Play edit. Memory. So it looks like there's only, well, there is a couple of photos on here. So it's four out of four, but it says there's 100 on that folder. Uh, there's actually movies on here. that up and see let's see if this thing will do a recording dang it's so tight it's such a tight lens look how close all right we're doing a test this is a mini dv test and hopefully this works look at that guy's selfie mode you're in it say hey All right, this test is over. We'll stop recording. Go into play edit. Rewind, which is gonna be a touch screen. I probably won't give them much for this one because I really don't like the touch screen stuff because it just goes bad. Let's see if we can get a good recording off of it. Yep, looks pretty clean. All right, we're gonna test. This is a mini DV. Test. And hopefully this works. Look at that guy's selfie mode. Great. All right, well, that looks like it's working pretty good, guys. I'd say successful, successful tape here. Successful camera. Another good customer trade-in. Comes with the power cables, comes with the AVs. 
clean heads. Everything looks good. AVs work. So I'm just going to have to try to get the information off the memory stick using this cable here. So we'll do that real quick. We've already got everything off this one. And so we're going to have to get it off this other one. Let's see if this is the same. Yeah, this is the same. So we'll plug in. Oh. So you have to use the dock to do this, huh? Interesting. So it's got the AV in the link cable, but you can't use the camera to receive the info without the uh, dock. So maybe we can pull this out and put this in this other camera here. Let's see if we can pull it off this guy. All right. And now we're going to go into... Where are my menu buttons at? That's right. We're going to power off and power back on. And we'll go here. And plug this guy into it. And hopefully it'll show up as a HDD. And plug into the computer real quick. <laughs> and we'll go to PC Connect, even though this isn't a PC, and we'll go to SD card. Might get lucky here, guys. Oh, it's saying the card doesn't work. Okay. Let's pull it out. This doesn't fit in there. So we have to go down the route of, uh, of plugging in the camera, unfortunately. The stuff you gotta do to get this stuff off these cameras, uh, you know, it's like, how much does it cost to do it? Uh, well, it's gonna take me probably an hour to just get it get it done, you know? So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna cost about an hour for the work. And that's just a guesstimate. That's assuming that all this stuff just works, right? Some cases you gotta, in some cases you gotta, um, you know, let them know like, hey, I gotta order a part, I gotta order this, I gotta order that to try to recover this stuff. How important is it? And half the time on these cameras, there's not much on them to begin with, but there was a couple photos there. So we are going to give it a shot, but we got to do it in camera. So we'll power our camera on, we'll plug in our cable, which we're going to have to use a dang dock. See, see, there's all these things you got to do. Because the dock is what allows you to plug in all these components because they couldn't include it on the camera because they made the camera too small. Everyone wanted small cameras for whatever reason. The bigger the camera, the better, guys. The heavier it is, the more stable it is. Like, we didn't need gimbals and stuff whenever these cameras were heavy. All right, plug that in. Plug this in. Power this bad boy on and see if we get something on the screen. USB is invalid. Camera memory. Play edit. All right. So it did pull up Final Cut. So I guess that's the only video on there, but we don't worry, we're not worried about the video, we're worried about the photos. 
that video looks like nothing. So we got one, two, three photos. So we'll take those and put them on their, um, in their folder. So that's it, we'll take the movie too, why not? All right, we're gonna disconnect this, turn this off. This is now gonna be my camera and I'm not gonna worry about this stuff anymore. Now that I've got everything off these cameras, the only thing I have to do is go through and uh, convert those videos to MP4, which we can do that together too. Uh, I need some boxes. Go through and organize this a little later, but they'll probably want that digital camera back. Hey guys, let's check on these slides and see how they came out. They brought, they gave them to me the first time and they were just too small. There we go. That's, that's what we're looking for. Cause they get, this is what they looked like before. That was what they gave me originally. And I was like, no, dude, that's not good enough. You guys got to give me bigger photos. But yeah, that was the size they were giving them to me before. And there we go. That's much better. Cause like, if you got to stretch this out, it is just not good. This is what we're looking for. So these look good now. I'm happy with that. 16.2. Now we'll reject that. Just wrote down how much space was on the. <clears throat> the um, thumb drive so I can double check they're both identical once I add these slides. And that's why I empty the trash because if you don't empty the trash, then it'll uh, register as something. Yeah, 1602. So we are the same exact drive copy. And this one is officially done. It took a while to do this one because that film was really all over the place. I haven't really been making videos about what I, like most of the film problems I've been having. Uh, but this last film job I got in, all the film was backwards. Like it was <clears throat> like you would put it in and start the transfer and then it would get halfway down the reel and where it was spliced would break and it would be reversed. So I had flip, flipped and reversed. So I have to take it all apart and turn it around and flip it. It's just a pain. Pain to do that. This is finished. And I'm hoping that she comes in today. I'd like to get this out of here. So I'm in, in hopes that she does come in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to, to the front. Take this all together. The customer, I called her and asked her if she would, uh, would just pay the difference and I would just go take it to him and get it done for her, so. That's what that's all about. Let's go over here and look at this mold. Uh, actually, this tape's finished. <laughs>